Yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, okay, folks. Uh, sorry, just scratching my eye. Um, we have come to a, a walk. Yeah, I think it's Cosington Meadows. Um, we've we've actually come to walk the dogs, and, and then I'm going to review a little calf takeaway, calf burger bar, bacon butty bar, breakfast bar, roadside cafe. Roadside cafe. June finds the words that I'm looking for. Uh, so what I've done, uh, I'm going to video this, and then I'm going to go and try and edit it. Um, I don't know whether if I can or what. Well, I'm going to have a go. Ain't I, Junie, baby? So. So what I'm going to try and do is, uh, June says I've got to try and speed things up. And then I've got to slow things down. It sounds like... The, Sounds like our bedroom activities. Faster, Dave. Faster, faster, Dave. Oh, slow it down. You're going too. Qu oh, you've done it. Um. <laughs> um, so this is the uh, the lake. These cows over there. These few ducks. I think it's good for fishermen to come. More bikes, more cyclists, Junior baby. Uh, there we go. No, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Okay. Then we have the uh, last two remaining survivors of uh, last of the summer rot wine on a bike. Uh, there's a windmill thing over there, the uh, natural energy, we've got some uh, bulrushes, they look a bit uh, fucked here. Fisherman, got the bibby out, is it the bibby? Fisherman, we had some fishermen at uh, work, Scott and Mick, they were always uh, into the fishing. The uh, Doodle One walk down the canal. Doodle One. Yeah, down the village. The Great White. <laughs> and he ate this fisherman's maggots. You weren't impressed. I should think not. <laughs> I don't think I was fucking impressed. Oh, he only had, he only got a bit. Huh. He just spilt the rest of them over. Oh God. So, don't just do this. There's something different. I don't want to be uh, tied into the same bracket all the while. Well, I can't keep eating like I do. Also, I'll be fat. Well, you don't try and shit. Oh, wait, I think it went there. So, I'm going to video pretty much most of the walk. And I'm going to try and chop bits out. I might even add a bit of music. What do you reckon, Jamie Baker? Yeah. So, we just thought that we'd give this day because we've had so much rain, all our usual walks are waterlogged. Well, we? this is quite good, really, isn't it? Yeah, we could. Yeah. Uh, it's nice and dry. It might be one for the future, lover. This doodle is mental. Got. Uh, Private farmland and fishing fishing lakes. Dogs to be under control. <sighs> right. I'm just going to stop recording for a minute. Right back again. It was just some fucking sodding bloody. Spam. It's good how your phone does that, isn't it? When it potential fraud or spam. Uh, really good. So, uh. What are you doing? Swallow the
Fucking hell, I thought I was going to die then. Felt like the woman who fucking swallowed one. <coughs> right at the back of my throat. Right. Oh, it's still there. Oh, I like fucking eating a meal, that one were. Fucking massive. <coughs> Whew. That's because you mentioned Doodle One eating the bugger. Oh, Alex? Uh, got some Canadian geese over there. I don't know why they call them Canadian geese because they're not in fucking Canada. Oh, fuck it, I thought I was going to boff then. Really thought I did. Hey? Oh. <coughs> It would, yes. Oh, I know now. They just took the pedals off and let her get a balance. Yeah, we, we did that. We found that out. If you take... This is a tip for people who have got kids who are... Trying to teach the kids how to... Or learn the kids or whatever it fucking is. To ride a bike. <coughs> Um, take the pedals off. Just take the pedals off. Let them scoot along. Yeah, let them scoot along. In fact, there is actually bikes without pedals that you can let them go on. But uh, you may as well buy a bike and just take the pedals off. And then when they're ready, just put the pedals on. It helps them find the balance and stuff, doesn't it? Exactly, it helps them to find the balance. So. Yeah, look at the ripples on that. To a bridge. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Oh, good quality, sturdy bridge. Yeah, that's good because the snow or whatever, the rain can go through it. Now, <clears throat> I think Hunky Steve and Auntie Sue all like this <clears throat> because they like to hear all the birds. I think we've got right, babe. I don't know. Yeah, I think we've got right. Leads us around in a circle then, don't it? I don't know. That's okay, cheers. Cyclists. Now then, to my American viewers, this is called a lock. What happens is a boat will come along here, or it'll come along from down there, and then what happens is you let this fill up with water. Yes, if you're coming from this way, uh, you let it fill up with water, you open it up, you then put you then put the boat or you drive your boat, you sail your boat, you row your boat into the uh, canal and then you empty the lock, you have to go down here to this side uh, you go down, you get a lot of shit in there the geese, hold on uh, then you open this, your boat goes down, the water goes out, your boat goes down, and then you tootle off down there. June says he's geese. There they are. Can you see them? What are you doing? Now. If you want guard dogs, <clears throat> right, if you want guard dogs, have guard dogs. If you want something 
a bit more vicious, get geese. Geese are bastards. My Uncle Peter, he lived uh, near Colville in a place called uh, Gelsmoor. And uh, he didn't have dogs. Well, he did have a dog, then the dog died. But he had geese. Geese are the most evilest bastards going. They will chop your fucking arm off if they've got an axe. Yeah. yeah. Two blokes looking at me, gone out there. A couple of fishermen. I used to, when I had horses. Yeah. There used to be some geese that used to chase me through the. Uh, well, I'll chase you, June. Along a bridle path. I'd chase you down a bridle path and all. Yeah, because the, the, the bridle path went through the farm and you used to chase me through there. And I, <laughs> poor Lord, was so yeah. horrible. You the... charged through. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I mean, obviously, I don't think if you live in a fucking terraced house or something, having geese in the living room would be a good idea. Oh. But, uh. Can you train them to use a litter tray? <sighs> I don't know. You might be able to. You can train rabbits too, can't you? Yeah, rabbits. We used to have a rabbit. My mum were a silly mare, she used to have all kinds of fucking... We used to have bloody rabbits and guinea pigs running around the house. Tortoise, he didn't run. He escaped. We found him up the road, somebody brought him back. <coughs> yeah. Got cows on the other side of the field. Uh, other side of the river. <coughs> well pointed out, June, I'm a twat. I don't know if this uh, video will be any good, will it, June? But uh, it just offers a bit of something different. I suppose in one way, people will be saying, I've nicked walk with Robbie. Uh, Robbie's idea. But we ain't. We just thought we'd... Uh, this is how we are. This is what we do. This is how we roll, isn't it? Yeah. That's what our life consists of, really. Just walking the dogs. Walking dogs and me eating food. Yeah, and the occasional trip to the pub. Yeah. <clears throat> This is it. Well, that's a new thing for us, isn't it? To the pub, we never used to. Yeah, we never used to visit the pub because, like, when I got us into debt, well, we haven't got the money. We haven't got the money, you know. Yeah, you, you do what you do. <sighs> but we're never really big pub goers as such, were we? No, but I since mean, I... lockdown, we've made a concerted effort to, to try and help the pubs, yeah, support them and not take them for granted. Because... Yeah, because they will be gone yeah. if you don't. Uh, Support your local. What you got, babe? A bit of a thorn. Twig, twig round me ah. I must say, this is a very clean part of the river, June. Yeah. No, well, we drove by it the other day, didn't we? What, what yeah, happened? Yeah, we usually go over there, don't we, round the village? Yeah, we normally go round Cosington. Uh, Oh. He's got a cock in his leg. This yeah. dog. Now he's learned yeah. how, how to piss up something. He's always lifting his bloody yeah, leg. Up my bloody the other day. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I've had some floods here, haven't we, lover? Yeah, is that a swan's nest there, that one in the branch? I think it's possibly a duck's nest or something. I don't know. Bit of wind there, so if you can't hear me because of the wind, I do apologise. Yeah, I bet this is really cold in the winter though. Yeah. Yeah, we actually live in a valley, don't we? So when it rains, yeah. it floods. Yeah, it does flood. Everywhere it stays wet for ages. Well, it's quite funny, really, isn't it, Joe, June? Because, uh, It'll rain and rain and rain, and then the ground will dry out really quick, and these cracks are form cracks forms within days. So, yeah, I think it's quite clay soil, though, isn't it? Yeah.
Yeah, some big ones over there, isn't there? There were these lady friends. Yeah, you're all the lady friend I need, lover. Yeah. Or if cows get the horse when he shags another one. I'm probably glad it's not there, yeah, glad. Oh, not you again. Oh, get off, did it last week. <laughs> yeah, it's not your birthday. <sighs> well, to be fair though, June, we don't uh, realise how lucky we are to live. Well, we suppose you do realise how lucky we are to... <sighs> It is, yeah. It is a nice part. Yeah. I mean, bloody string, you always used to moan about people living in the country. And I, you know, I mean, I suppose you live where you end up, don't you? But. Yeah, it is what you used to. And, uh. No. Where's the microphone on this bloody thing? Well, if it's windy, we can just uh, whiz it forward, eh, lover? Yeah, it's only to play around with this. Hopefully, uh... I would say that one is bad because it's a shed. Watch where you're going. Yeah. He's cocking. Yeah, I do and all. Can you manage, babe? Yeah, I think so. Uh, does it? Uh, shall we go over the bridge? I fancy the bridge. All right, sweetheart. Can you manage? Yeah. Do you want me to hold them both? No, I've got them. I could have videoed your arse then, June, but uh, I saved your dignity. Well, <laughs> now, this is what we call a... 
a bridge folks uh, obviously walking over the river uh, <clears throat> for the people with a highly trained hearing oh for fuck's sake you're not answering it here hold on yeah um right we've just come uh down past off the bridge uh june's answered the phone and uh we're just coming to have a look at the weir uh obviously it's water dropping down a couple of steps four steps leading into like the, another part of the river this is quintessentially english this it's a uh, very quintessentially english isn't it june hope uh Uncle steve and auntie sue are enjoying the sounds of the river uh i've got to make our way back now But that was some kind of, use this as some kind of beach to come for a picnic or something back in the day, the youngsters. Now, coming up here, uh, so I'm just talking to this. Uh, when I was talking about the lock earlier on, uh, Cosington Lock here uh, is has a boat on it and um, he's using the lock and he is draining the water out so he can uh, go down the lock morning am I okay to film? Yeah, cheers. So I've got a YouTube channel, so I put all this kind of stuff on. Oh, lovely looking boat. Oh, look at that dragonfly there. Tremendous. So as you can see, the water's going down. Tremendous. Morning. As the water comes down, you can see the current there in the in the river, and they'll drop down, and then uh, they'll toodle off. They'll toodle, won't they, lover? <sighs> up this bit of a hill, and we're coming up onto the road again, Cosington Lane. Uh, London cyclist and over we cross uh, up that way is Rothley uh, do we know anybody who lives in Rothley nobody famous world renowned You're having a look down there. Oh, so there's more walks to uh, Salby Mill, footpath to Salby Mill. June's being adventurous. Come here. So we're just working away back to the van. Uh, there's ample parking on Cosington Lane. 
it's a big area used by fishermen um, part this side or you've got the other side on the lay-by and uh, yeah it's a nice little walk if what is it June about 40 minutes that way a couple of miles there's another footpath here we might do this one another day Cosington Meadows this side oh that one would be better because there's no cycling on that one yeah it is a very busy road this um, at times so if you've got a loopy dog that jumps out the car and you can't control just be careful um, but no it's alright isn't it it's nice and the air's fresh and everything. It does tend to flood down here though, don't it? it does. You know. Mind you, it don't flood as bad as Slash Lane. You only have to knock a fucking cup of tea over at home and you've Slash Lane's flooded. It's a bloody joke. It's about time the council or the road authorities got it sorted. Yeah. I bet that leads to that one that we normally walk. You know when we put yeah, prob the Yeah, mud? I know where you mean. Yeah, we can do, can't we, sweetheart? Well, it's just a matter of the weather, isn't it? You know, it's... There's only a handful of walks that we can do. Yeah. It's not great, otherwise it's crazy. Yeah. But now we've done that one, lover, we're, we're quite content to come here when it snows or it's a bit wet. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So I mean, look, 50 mile an hour and he's doing 120 in his BMW fucking SUV or whatever it is. Syston, Rothley, Salbe. Yeah, the A46. It's a very bit quick piece of road, to be fair. But I don't think there's ever been uh, any major accidents. Uh, so if there's been no major accidents, you may as well make it 80 mile an hour. What? Stupid? Me? Right, so uh, the van's over there. We're going to try a bit of food from this place. I'm going to review it. And uh, we'll go from there. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little walk. Hey, Junie Baby. Yeah. I think people do like this kind of shit, to be fair. Yeah, some come for the food. That's what I do about my channel. I do try to cover all bases. So uh, there you go. Okay, Roger and Trout.